With companies having so many trainees that fans tend to get attached to, it's always disheartening when these trainees don't end up debuting with the groups they were initially intended for, such as the case for Haruka, who could have been the seventh member of La Seraphim. When we talk about the one member of La Seraphim that didn't make it, everyone thinks of Kim Garam. After all, she was literally revealed as a member of the group, was a part of the teasers and concept pictures, the group's debut mini-album, and even promoted with them for a short while. We all know the story. On the day Garam was officially announced as a member of La Seraphim, a netizen claimed she had mistreated her classmates when she was in middle school. If that wasn't enough, there were also rumors that she had leaked confidential documents when she was a trainee under Starship Entertainment. Hybe quickly denied all allegations, insisting that Garam was not guilty but rather the victim and warned of legal consequences for those making such accusations. Then, more rumors about her started popping up left and right, with Garam's friends even getting involved into the mess as people said that they had threatened the netizen who spoke out. More allegations Allegations of inappropriate comments and pictures further tarnished Garam's image to the point that La Seraphim's reputation started getting affected. Hybe's vague statements and inability to prove that Garam was innocent only made things worse for them, and at that point, the public was basically demanding that she be removed from the group. The final nail in the coffin came when Daryum, a legal firm, accused Garam of tormenting their client to the point that she had allegedly started to hurt herself. Hybe continued denying everything, but nobody was surprised when Garam was put on hiatus while legal matters were resolved, and La Seraphim continued promoting their debut song with the remaining members. She was officially removed from the group and the company in July of 2022. Now she has cleared her name and is trying to build a career in the industry as an actress by studying acting at the moment. But this video isn't about Garam because unlike Haruka, she actually got to debut. Nobody knew that Shimazaki Haruka even existed before the airing of La Seraphim's documentary The World Is My Oyster. The documentary premiered its first episode on September 17th, 2022 aiming to show the journey of the members as they navigated the challenges and achievements leading up to their debut as part of HYBE's then-upcoming group. Up to that point, people thought they knew everything about the group, how there were six members that were planned to debut, how hard they trained, and the happiness they felt when they learned that they would debut. It was expected to be your usual trainee story, and while it was nice to see the girls prepare to finally get on stage as a team, people thought that it would be predictable. They were about to be met with an unexpected twist. The first episode of the documentary started with a scene featuring Sakura, Yunjin, and Kazuha sitting in a car as they expressed wonder about how they were going to debut soon. The members appeared especially happy when they happened to notice a La Seraphim poster near Namsan Tower, which was really cute to witness. However, it didn't take long before the mood shifted. Even though the members were happy that they would debut, Sakura appeared nervous about the fact that she would debut for the third time now, first with HKT48, then with Eyes One, and last with La Seraphim. She even said that her name Miyawaki Sakura Sakura held a certain amount of weight, especially considering her previous accomplishments. After individual interviews with the members where they describe how they ended up here, the former Produce 48 members, namely Chaewon, Yunjin, and Sakura, have a reunion scene in the practice room. They appeared excited to see each other again, and most importantly, they were thrilled that they would get promoted as a team once again. The episode then shows us glimpses of the girls practicing for monthly evaluations, with an unfamiliar face being spotted among the members. The editors didn't leave fans a lot of room to wonder who the trainee was. She was introduced as Haruka and was said to have a lot of energy. This was obvious by the way she was laughing and interacting with the members. However, fans were left confused. If Haruka was training with the members and even made it into the documentary, what happened to her? Why didn't she make the final lineup if she was so involved in the process? After the scene of the girls gathering their things at the end of the day, the CEO of Source Music reminded fans of the harsh realities of the industry. According to him, preparations for the album before the members are finalized takes quite some time, and it's arguably the toughest period. He went on to say, It's hard enough being chosen as part of the debut team, and in the process of preparing for the debut, it's not enough that you were chosen. Kim Hyung-un, the management team leader, only supported the sentiment, saying that there are a lot of cases where the members changed before the group debuts with a final lineup. This gets shown in the next scene as the girls say their thanks and leave for the day. However, the staff members are then seen leading Haruka back to the dance studio, and while we aren't shown what they discussed, the clip of her crying explains enough. She didn't make the final lineup. The members who had become closer to her by now learn about the incident and attempt to console her, but they appear to be pretty upset themselves. Yunjin reveals that they had trained with Haruka since the beginning, so the members, as well as Ruka herself, probably thought that they were going to debut together. The realization must have been pretty hard for 
all of them. Yoonjin said, I think she must have been really nervous. It was her first time being in a debut team like this, and she was fairly young. The team leader explained that despite the fact that everything seems like a done deal, some trainees may not debut in the end for several reasons. Health issues, psychological challenges, not fitting the desired image or concept after it's finished, among others. We don't know the reason why Haruka couldn't debut, but most people assumed that it was because she didn't fit the concept of Le Seraphim. It was also assumed that her image overlapped with that of Unche, and even though that shouldn't be a big problem, companies have cut trainees for much less. Despite knowing all this, it still hurt fans a lot to see what the group could have been if Haruka ended up debuting. However, it was very confusing why Hybe edited Garam out of the documentary, who had actually been a member of the group, but decided to keep the scenes with Ruka in. It could be because they wanted to fill in the scenes where Garam should have been. Another speculation suggests that Hybe included her in the footage to illustrate the harsh reality of the industry. One moment you're training happily, expecting to debut after years of hard work, and the next you're being informed that you will be sent home. Stacy's company, High Up Entertainment, did the same thing where they showed two trainees training with the rest of the members, but then they ended up going home. In the end, the leading theory was that Hybe had other plans for her, which is why they were preparing the audience for her appearance in their future projects. It was mostly believed that we would see her in Island 2 or another survival show as a contestant. A commenter wrote, she will probably go in Island 2 or another survival show and get that second chance storyline. She's probably still in the company considering they showed her here. Looking at everything, this theory made sense. She would be older than if she initially debuted with La Seraphim and would have a few more years of training under her belt. Turns out that people were right, as in 2023, she was introduced as a contestant in Hybe's Are You Next. As a contestant that people were already familiar with, everyone had a lot of expectations and even predicted that she would have a sure spot in the final lineup. After all, she had been a trainee under Cube Entertainment, nearly debuted with La Seraphim, and at that point she had trained for four years. Given her appearance in the The World's My Oyster documentary, many assumed Haruka would definitely become a group member, with the survival show acting as a means for people to become familiar with her. But all expectations that people had of her were crushed as soon as the show started. While there was no denying that she was talented, a lot of viewers complained about her lack of stage presence, with one of them saying, She has nothing memorable in her performance that makes her stand out. Even when she's the center, she doesn't grab any attention. Unfortunately, Haruka was eliminated in the fourth round of the show. It got even sadder when people got reminded of Ruka saying that this was probably her last chance of becoming an idol. So knowing this, what is going to happen? to her. Well, the possibilities appear to be endless, but there are some theories running around that could possibly hint at what her plans are. At first, it was assumed that she would indeed be a participant in Island 2, but when the full list of contestants was revealed on March 22nd, Haruka wasn't a part of them. There's also a chance that she will debut in Hybe's Japanese girl group whenever they decide to debut one, but we don't know anything for sure. We don't even know whether she's still a Hybe trainee, but whatever happened with her, we hope to see her on stage someday, and if she really decided to give up on the idol life altogether, we wish her the best of luck with whatever she decides to do. In the end, she deserves all the support.